So are you ready to learn and know what a price prediction is? Are we are we on a bullish trend for Shiba Inu for this week? What do you think? Do you think we're on a bullish trend? Do you think we're going to continue to rise? You think it's going to play out? Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm. I'm not a great actor. I'm like, hmm. I would not have made a good actor. <laughs> Right here, right now, at, as of the recording of this video, Shiba Inu is up 5%. Hey, you know what? I'm going to say it. That does not suck. <laughs> um, the fact that it's rising, good news. Overall, market is looking really nice. Uh, we're coming back up 4.5%. Uh, this is good to see Ethereum rising back up, or we're, we, you know, we're we're getting close. We're rising up there. It's up nine percent. It's screaming up. You can see. Look at the chart action right here. It looks really, really good. Oh, hmm. Let's see. Does Shiba Inu's chart action look almost exactly the same? Why, yes, it does. Who's talked about that a lot? Hmm. Me. Meaning the the chart action Shiba Inu follows Bitcoin and Ethereum. You know what? Actually, said a different way. Bitcoin and Ethereum follow Shiba Inu. Yeah. I'm kidding. All right. So let's get into this. Let's talk about this real quickly. All right. So let's talk about, is there, are we on a bullish outcome for the rest of the week? Okay. We know that it's been quote holding steady and been rising, et cetera. It has looked pretty good. Um, and I want to show you this real quickly. You know, we obviously had Bitcoin doing its thing. Okay. So we've got this kind of going on from a chart standpoint. I know this says death cross looms. Death cross sounds like the world is going to, going to end in the next three minutes. Uh, overall though, if we can get a positive sentiment, the overall positive, um, uh, you know, retail investor sentiment, you know, basically the retail, um, uh, fear and greed index, get it to start rising. It feels like the, but it feels like people are starting to be a little bit more comfortable and looking to move back into the market. Then we will we'll get a bounce back up. But I want to really talk to you because one of the things that I love to talk about with you guys is support levels and, um, and resistance levels. Okay. So it looks like right here, right now, our resistance level per this, uh, could be that two, five, two Oh range. Okay. And if you look right here, right now, let me show you, Right now, SHIB is at this 2179. So basically, a 2520 is kind of our next major resistance level. And you can see in the last 24 hours, we have touched that 2204. We've established again a really, really positive support level you know, where we're not really bouncing below at, you know, at that high 1920 range right in there. So we're looking good there. Okay. All right, just continuing on. Um, we have basically been able to hold above, woo, hold above that demand zone. Uh, and it looks like we have, we have absolutely formed again, that support region. This is what I'm liking. I'm, I'm definitely loving what I'm seeing here, but you know, the X factor is this is we've got a lot of bad news ish kind of out there. Right. And, and we have not had a really good January. We all know that in Shiba Inu itself, but really more so in the overall, in the overall market, just simply haven't had that. It has not been a Shiba Inu issue per se. It has not with the January performance. We've consolidated at this level that we've been at in this, you know, two range. And it's really been because the overall market has been really pushed down by a lot of negative, uh, negative news out there. You have the Federal Reserve doing their thing, uh, and and the and the turmoil that it's caused on the markets. They're you know they're going to raise interest rates. They're going to tighten their monetary policy. They're reducing their balance sheet. They're they're going to quit injecting liquidity into the market. It's just a, a things are a changing, if you will. Then you've had kind of global conditions in January, uh, the threat of of war between Russia and Ukraine, uh, continued COVID stuff. We all know this. Uh, inflation up uh, dramatically. All of these things have really kept the overall market down. The key is going to be this. It's whether or not the market has digested, if you will, all of that bad news, that bad sentiment. And can we put together four, five, six, seven days of green days that where, where it'll get the attention of people and start to go, oh, okay, it may be, again, now maybe looking like a good time to come back in. These indicators are looking good. When you have Ethereum in the last 24 hours going up eight and a half percent, that's a good look. That's a good thing going on overall. Bitcoin move rising up as well. So keep your eye on this. Keep your eye on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Keep your eye on those resistance and support zones that I told you about Shiba Inu, and we'll continue to, to roll along. 
and just tune in here if you want daily information. With all that said, I generally appreciate you. Thank you so much. In the description below is a link to my Patreon group. Check that out if you're interested. I have weekly live member only uh, uh, live streams. It's just for my members where I talk about major, major crypto uh, that I like, new opportunities, new uh, uh, tokens that are coming out. My Patreon, my private members are the first ones to know about that. So check that out if you're interested. Link's in the description below. It's 20 bucks a month. That's it. That's all. You can join and cancel at any time. So if you just want to join, like just check it out, then you can do that. Um, but links in the description below. I, I built that for a real simple reason, my Patreon group, because I want to help as many people navigate uh, these waters. And if you want to just support me a little bit more and you want more Austin in your life, check it out. Links in the description below. As always, appreciate you. Have a good one. See you.